of the masonry and construction and concrete construction background, we would develop tools and processes and things just to get our jobs done. And around 2000, we developed uh, a dust extraction system for a dry cut masonry saw that we also invented and took to MK Diamond uh, that they started to produce. Um, so we needed a dust extractor to suck up all the dust. So we went looking for one on the new internet at that time. It was not to be found, so we went in the back in the shop and we started to fabricate one. Uh, and that was about the year 2000, 2001, something like that. Well, by 2003, we were getting enough demand. People were requesting and wanting to buy our tools, and so we started uh, our company. And that was really the beginning of uh, our business uh, in 2003. So it's been you know, over 15 years that we've been selling the product and listening to people and, and building tools. Um, in 2012, we actually took on the name IT Power Tools because it was a, it was a broader name and we were going to do bigger things, more tools, different kinds of tools. And so IQ, we thought really fit us because uh, we really try to think about the tools that we make and create things that we want to use as professional contractors and we hope that professional end users will want to use uh, also. So that's a a little bit of that story, and uh, we've come down, you know, 15 plus years later, and it's uh, been a lot of fun, a lot of challenges in there, but uh, we still have that passion to create new innovative tools. So that's the story in a nutshell. So you touched on innovation. What is the driving force behind the IQ innovation? You know, and that's that's a great question because innovation to us is just it's who we are. It's the core of what we can't help but innovate. It's something that we're always going to look at a tool and go, how can we make that better, uh, or how can we do uh, something that is uh, you know more creative and or meets a need that somebody may have. So it's really we're always innovating. Some of these things we bring to market. Some of these things that uh, we don't bring to market. So innovation is just the core of who we are. So what sets IQ apart when it comes to innovation? Well, I think that word innovation gets uh, you know used uh, a little bit too liberally uh, because what innovation is is something that's new, something that totally is game changer, and that's really what we do. We you know made dry cut tile saws with integrated dust collection. That's the first ones in the world. Uh, we've made other tools where they're the first in the world. That's innovation. And I see companies use that word innovation where it's, you know, maybe they change the look of the grip and they add some more lids and put some rubber here and that's they call that innovation. But you know, you know, I have to they're making changes, but that's not really innovative. You know, innovative are something that's new and a new process to do things and, and we truly try to look at everything fresh and uh, come up with new ways to do things. Um, how does feedback play into the tools and how they are designed? Well, feedback is critical because, you know, like I said, we came out of the construction field, so we knew what type of tools we wanted. We knew the type of tools that you know, we wanted to put our hands on and use every day. But then as we turned into really manufacturers, we still have those skills and that knowledge, but things change. And so we're constantly listening to people, whether it be at trade shows or 
through the online forums and social media or just going out to job sites and seeing how people are using our tools and listening to them. And this tool behind me here, the 362, is a great example of that. We had the previous model, the 360, which had its limitations. We listened to people. We, we made a list of like 25 must-have items on the next song, and they're all addressed in the 362. So we always listen and try to develop the tools that meet, you know, what the customer wants because, it, again, it goes along with us as contractors as professionals. It's what we want as well. Now, some people say, well, I told you, you know, about such and such your song should, you know, have a certain feature. And if I hear that from one or two people who listen to it, but I can't just combine design things for one or two people. I have to, if 50 people, 100 people are telling me something like that, then we listen and we say, how do we integrate that feature or that uh, process into that machine? So it's all a balance. And uh, we have to make tools that people, large amount of people want to use. And that's what we try to do here at IT. Awesome. So what can customers expect in the future from IT? Yeah, we are still developing new tools and, you know, even getting outside of the masonry and tile cutting industry where uh, we have a brand new tool at the World Concrete Global that we'll be uh, introducing. It's a dust extractor. And I can tell you, it's a dust extractor that you, like you've never seen before. We call it the, a super new dust extractor. Um, so if you're at World of Concrete, uh, please come over to our booth and check it out. We'll be doing live demos uh, outside. Uh, but that's something we're real excited about. So we're really expanding more into general construction industry. So with dust extractor, we'll have attachments. We'll have uh, other tools to go along with the dust extractor. And we've got more things coming for the future. We're always looking and building new tools and giving people feedback. So stay tuned. There's more to come. Awesome. Well, if you guys have any questions or, you know, questions for Paul or the company in general, go ahead and shoot us a message through Instagram or any of our social media channels. Um, or come by, like Paul said, at World of Concrete. We will be at booth C3027, and we will also be outside in the Innovation Zone. And for those of you that are uh, tile, we will also be at Surfaces down the street at Mandalay Bay, uh, booth 4382. So we look forward to meeting some of you guys in person and appreciate you guys taking the time to Join us live today for our first interview. We hope to have many of these uh, every month. So stay tuned for more content from IQ. Thanks, everybody. Thanks. Thanks for joining.